Here is your latest end time news from tradcatnight.blogspot.com. Ladies and gentlemen, get to Tradcat Night on a daily basis. Spend 15 plus minutes a day. 15 plus new blogs, articles coming out, as well as on the right hand side, a daily news section which is pumping out hundreds of news stories, keeping you up to date on all of the latest news worldwide as it relates to church news, as it relates to apostasy news, Planet X news, birth pang news, end time news. We're keeping you up to date. Now, in this particular segment, we want to cover a little economics in this brief segment. We have coming tonight from the Telegraph, developing China facing full-blown banking crisis. So we're seeing banking crisis across the board. I recently had on Bull Pony, who is sticking to the prognostication that the collapse will happen over the next few weeks, we'll see what transpires. Now, China has failed to curb excesses in its credit system and faces mounting risks of a full-blown banking crisis, according to early warning indicators released by the world's top financial watchdog. A key gauge of credit vulnerability is now three times over the danger threshold and has continued to deteriorate uh, despite pledges by Chinese Premier Li Keguang to wean the economy off a debt driven growth before it is too late. Now, the debt for international settlements warned in its quarterly report that China's credit to GDP gap has reached 30.1, the highest to date, and in a different league altogether from any other major country tracked by the institution. It is also significantly higher than the scores in East Asia's speculative boom in 1997 or in the U.S. subprime bubble before the Lehman crisis. And again, I try to bring on special guests as it relates to economics, usually at least a couple guests, uh, anywhere between two to four guests on a monthly basis. And going into October, uh, I have the intention on keeping that same theme because I believe it is important. We'll see what happens. Maybe by some time in October, the collapse will have happened. We'll have to see. Subscribe to Tradcat Night right now for all of the latest end time news, all the latest economic news. Again, we are a one-stop shop, keeping you up to date on all of the latest church news, end time news. Along the right-hand side, there's a plethora of information, a video section along the top uh, right-hand corner, broken down per category. New poll question is up. Make sure you participate as it relates to to the elections blog archive about one third of the way down the page make sure you get into that section and spend weeks at a time uh, there is just a lot of information there covering all the topics that we cover about uh, cover here at Tradcat night as it relates to the information war I need financial assistance if uh, you don't want to go the PayPal route uh, that is okay actually I kind of prefer uh, the mailing uh, way, if you will, cash check or money order considerations, send me an email to apostlemary at hotmail.com and I'll get you the, the mailing address. Uh, PayPal has a cap in terms of uh, how much donations you can actually uh, bring in, and this is a, in accordance with uh, some IRS law. So uh, I try to keep it a little bit balanced, so if you can... Please uh, help me out in that fashion. Visit our sister site, orderoftheeagle.wordpress.com. If you have news tips, articles, videos, blogs of your own, I'm always looking for new contributors, so make sure you send those to apostleofmaryathotmail.com. And lastly, an, an area that I need better help in and support in is, on a daily basis, getting suggestions for special guests to come on to the radio show. Uh, you know, I try to do that at the end of the day, but... With all of the other responsibilities that I have, I just don't have an hour to give uh, at the end of the night. So if you can, take five or ten minutes out. And everyone should now be accustomed to the types of guests that we bring on here at Tradcat Night. So send me some suggestions and I'll see what I can do. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe and God bless.